Hello, and welcome to this episode of Psychic Medium, Tony G. I'm so excited that you're joining us here today as I give Alisa a reading. I'm going to be doing this reading on air, and even though I know Alisa, she's a friend and an acquaintance of mine, uh, we've not talked about a lot of things that are going to come up, and I know this because as I'm doing the intro, all the messages are coming in now <laughs> for her, and they're good, so I'm so excited. Alisa, it's such an honor to have you on again. Thank it's you so much. It's great to see for, you again. I know it's been since, it's been quite some time. Yep, uh, about eight months ago, we, we did this together when I was starting a new career, a new journey, so this will be exciting. And the journey is unfolding. <clears throat> That's what I'm looking to you for. Yes. So in life, as we move on, many times we, we know the journey, we know the path we're supposed to be on, and as it unfolds, we might know it's the right path, but we need, might need some touch-up information, just some other things uh, that we have questions about or new information that comes in. So the first thing I want to do is ask you, do you have any questions to start off? before I start? I don't really because I think it's all going to be kind of the same theme. I check in with you probably every six months or so to, because I have so many new changes that have happened the last couple of years that it's kind of, uh, am I doing the right thing? Where do I go from here? On and on. Yeah. And it seems like they're always around, <laughs> always around waiting to talk to me. So I'd rather hear what you what they're telling you, I guess. Okay. And if we could start off that way, that would be easier. Yeah. So first of all, they <clears throat> are always around. They're always trying to get us messages and let us know we are on the right path or we are not on the right path, what we can do to make our lives easier, what we can do to be healthier and happier also. Mm -hmm. So that's really important to know. Um, <clears throat> and the first thing I want to say when it comes to career with you you are on, I want to say that your career right now and your work is uh, multifaceted is the term they're using. Some parts of it are really amazing and you're doing really well, but then other parts you feel like this is just ridiculous. <laughs> is the word that they're using. And there should be uh, more accountability is the other word they want to use. Yeah, I do feel sassy lately. I'm not going to lie. I do feel that way. Yeah, well, you know what? Sometimes we have to be very sassy, blunt, or bold to get the appropriate answers. <clears throat> the mishmash, oh, yeah, just go ahead and do that thing doesn't always work. Yeah. Um, right now you're amping up for what's coming next. So you've been doing okay, but I want you to know it's going to start, um, they're using the term downhill slide. Now typically we would think that like, oh, you're on a downhill slide. It's not like that at all. With work, you're going like you've been going up and like climbing this high mountain and you finally are there and as it goes down, everything's going to build. Oh, so it'll be a little easier on me. Absolutely. It's, it's like you're going to be, <laughs> you climbed all the way to this top this peak and now you just get to ride it down sort of thing they're showing me. You're going to have a lot of new requests is the term they're using. Okay. A lot of brand new requests coming into you. People you've not met, people you don't know, um, acquiring or trying to attain your skills and uh, use your resources, keep your boundaries clear, keep, keep very, very professional no matter what, be very on task with things. If you feel like you need to ask first and then do, go right ahead and do that. That's what other people are there for. Mm -hmm. So the biggest- So ask for help more? Yeah, rather than have to redo something, ask first, and then, you know, if you can yeah. get that help, you won't have to redo things. Mm -hmm. I feel like there are going to be some new ventures coming in for you as far as um, 
real estate goes, there's going to be some ventures, some areas of real estate that you have not worked with before. One of them being, I see a commercial type of building coming in. This commercial type of building, I don't know if it's, um, yeah, it's, it's possible it's a sale. It, you're going to take part in a commercial. I do uh, have a commercial client. Oh, so yeah, you guys are good. So, <laughs> I'm like, oh. Yeah, we had a building. Now we're moving on to a different building. We have to find the, the next one. Awesome. So that, see, that's how it works. Like, they're so spot on. Sometimes the, the timing might be a little bit off, but the information is always right on. Um, this commercial client is also going to send you other people. So stay on task. That's a good bit of information because we're a different type of personality, my clients and I. You know what? So at least I know that they like me because yes. I couldn't tell as we're yeah. going through it. And here's, here's what I want to say. No matter where you work and what you do, <clears throat> thank goodness everybody isn't like us because we might like us, but dealing with me all day long, if I had yeah. to deal with people like <laughs> me all day long, I'd be nuts by the end of the day. I'd yeah, be I like, wouldn't want to deal with me either. <laughs> I'd be locking myself in a corner. Right. Um, but I am going to tell you, stay professional. It's really important that you stay professional <clears throat> and you stay on task. Mm -hmm. Don't let personal feelings or opinions about things get in the way. Okay. Um, one of the things I like to say is, if it doesn't pertain to the deal, don't even think about don't it. Don't even go there. Don't go there. Mm -hmm. And if they do, that's fine. Just go, mm hmm and okay. get back to the deal. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter what somebody else's personal or professional beliefs or whatever are. Right. You're not there for that. You're not going to be invited to birthday parties and barbecue. Well, maybe at some point, but you're just there to get a good deal done. Get to help that good them deal and help done. Myself. And it, most of the people that you work with, if you find out a lot of their personal information, you would find out, yeah, this isn't somebody I would do cocktails with. But who cares? You're not supposed to. You're supposed to be there to maintain professional um, behavior and help them get their deals done. Okay. As long as you do that, you're going to be just fine. So the biggest message coming through right now is maintain that professionalism, mm -hmm. which you do an amazing job at. Don't bring personal stuff into it. And if it does start to come up, just flip that switch right back to professional and keep going. It okay. would be really nice if everybody we worked with, we could become best friends with. But that's why the term acquaintance comes in. Yeah. So that we can be. Or just a read on, once in a while, the read on people is very roller coaster ish. Yeah, and don't even worry about that. Mm -hmm. You know, the beautiful thing about your business, being in the real estate business, you don't need to know about them. You just need to know what they want. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? Tell me what you're looking right. for. Let me help you find that. Everything else is a non issue because. Mm -hmm. you, because it is. So moving forward, um, this commercial person, the person with the commercial, uh, I feel like there's going to be some referrals from that. There's definitely going to be some referrals from that. Just stay on task, stay professional, get the job done. Um, own anything that, like if there's a misprint or anything, mm -hmm. just own it and move on. Okay. And they will really respect that. They like your tenacity. Um, otherwise, they would not continue to work with you. But mm -hmm. they really like your tenacity. They love the fact that you are really willing to work. Mm -hmm. okay. You're not afraid to look for answers and get in there and do what needs to be done. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's a beautiful thing. Um, you are going to have a lot of residentials coming up. Some of the people you know, but more of them you don't, which is beautiful. Is now, cool. right around that September time, you might feel like, oh, it's September. Don't worry. You have plenty of people on the other side assisting you, guiding you, and getting you there. They're going to make sure that even through December and into January, you will have plenty of work. Okay? That's wonderful. It's going to kind of just, it will ebb and flow a little bit. When you need that break, even if you don't know you need that break, they're going to give you that break. 
now. I probably need them to give me that break because I will just work worse. We'll get, yes, yeah. yes. Like I'll, I'll say, oh my gosh, I don't have clients today. Oh my gosh. And I'll hear in my head, yeah, just sit down and breathe. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Like I need go that. do something else with your day and then you yeah. feel guilty inside. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I am totally the person. <laughs> I'm the IT person. I'm the, you yeah. know, social media. So I'm like, okay, I don't have this. I'm going to get on all these. They're saying just breathe sit back, relax, go get a massage. If you have time in between, take care of yourself too. Yeah. Okay? Nobody will do for us what we don't do for ourselves. Right. I get that. Believe me. Yeah. Starting that again. <laughs> Good for you. So as far as work, do you have any questions about anything that I've said so far? No. I think we've pretty much covered it. Excellent. The next thing that I want to go to, well, wait. Okay. One of the things that they're stating about work, too, is um, don't share too much of your private life at work. Not that anybody cares or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just don't give anybody ammunition. And I think you know what they're talking about without saying too much here. Um, I do and I don't, but I'm sure I'll think it over and figure it out after yeah. after today. Yeah, I I can speak more to that later. Okay. We can discuss that mm -hmm. a little bit more after the fact. Um, just uh, when you go in, the, the, their, their word for you as far as work goes, professional, professional, professional all the way professional, don't think twice about being even above and beyond on that professional level, just so no one can say anything later on down the line. Sometimes people are trying to decide between two realtors. Mm -hmm. You always want everybody to say, she's really professional. Mm -hmm. And if they don't know anything about your private life, they can't bring it up. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they're saying that, but it's obviously an important point okay. for you. I don't to, either, so we'll have to talk about that later. Absolutely, absolutely. So as we move into love, because I keep hearing now, love, 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 oh, love, love, love. I, I don't hear that or see that. <laughs> so Not This yet. is news to me. You've been a little bit stressed out lately. lately. Mm -hmm. You've been mm -hmm. a little bit... Um, Negative. I'm going to put it differently. I'm going to say you've been a little bit consumed with things that have happened in the past, okay? And it's time to, I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm so sorry. I want to just come over there and give you the biggest hug and hold you right now. Um, what the one thing that they're asking you to do is to look at things as valuable lessons rather than mistakes or why didn't it? Why didn't this work out? Why couldn't that work out? Why, why, why? Instead of having all the whys, go into the, well, you know what I learned from this person is this. And what I learned I wanted from this person is this. And what I learned that I would like to have in my future is this. And really just get a little journaling book. And they want you to write down what you believe an ideal partner is. First, they just want you to go through and write down what you believe an ideal partner is. What this person does, how they show up, who they are in your life, what their character is. And then they want you to analyze why you feel that way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> like I don't analyze myself enough. <laughs> no, they don't want you to analyze you. They want you to analyze why you want these certain characteristics to make sure they're the right characteristics for you. Because sometimes we want somebody who is a certain way. Like I know a lot of women who want a partner that's really nice and kind. And then I say to them, you would eat him up and spit him out in a week because you're really controlling mm -hmm. and you need a man with a lot of testosterone to deal with that. And they start laughing. They're like, yeah. I go, plus you like bad boys, so you wouldn't even like this really nice, kind person. And they're like, 
You're right. Now we can fix that and we can alter that and help and them. Be nice if get that person at both. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And we can help somebody get from needing a bad boy to just, mm -hmm. you know, wanting somebody healthier in their life. But they have to want that too. Yeah. So for you, looking at why you want the qualities you want is really important. Okay. And to associate those qualities and where they sit in you and how you have them or don't have them now will be very helpful for you too. Because some of the things that we ask for in a partner are things that we are not quite there on yet. Um, so once we have it, then they can show up because nobody can fill our voids. We have to be full and then that person comes up and they truly are a partner, not a filler. Um, and that's really important. The next person that comes in, try not to fix them. <laughs> As a matter of fact, look at your partners like houses. Instead of getting the fixer upper money pit that just cannot be fixed, there's just so Yeah, I so don't want much. that. <laughs> to do here, um, get that partner that is really the new build, somebody who's done the work on themselves, somebody who knows who they are, somebody who's sure of what they want and where they want to be. I just be. don't know where to meet that person. Sometimes once we're there, they show up. <clears throat> That's what I keep hearing. Sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I'm there and then I, I do my backslide because I get frustrated with feeling like I did a lot of work and then. Yeah, but you know what? We're like Picassos. I think I don't know. we're like, a, we're like the never ending art or, you know, I don't, I don't know, but we're, we're, we're a work in progress. So we, we, t we are happy for how far we've come because we know we're not the same person we were five or 10 years ago, even a year ago. We've grown, we've matured, we've learned, hopefully. Mm -hmm. But then, every once in a while, we're gonna fall back into that comfort zone, something that feels comfortable. I compare it to my old shoes that I should have thrown out two winters ago, but can't find another pair like them, so I just keep them and wear them and spray them, mm -hmm. deodorize them. And I just really need to let them go, but they're comfortable. Habits are the same way. We can fall back into some of those old habits because they're really comfortable. The good news is we fall back into them when we're vulnerable. So in those moments of vulnerability. Which I haven't, I've been kind of cut and dry for the last six months. Okay. Or cut people in general and not hold on, God. not even give second, thirds, whatever. There's. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> Not there, just relation, but friendships too. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, if you're not growing together, you're growing apart. And if somebody isn't growing and you are, you don't have to stay there because every time you're with them, you go back to that, mm -hmm. you know, place. I describe it like walking into your mom's house. You go back to that 16-year-old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As soon as you walk into mom's house, you're opening the fridge, eating things you don't eat, doing things you don't do, saying things you said when you were a child. It's the same thing with friends. Certain groups of friends bring us to certain points or we behave certain ways around them. Mm -hmm. If they're not growing with you, then it's okay to let go of something. And I'm going to, I just want to say, you know, there's this false belief that every single person we meet we're supposed to just hold on to for the rest of our life. But that's not the case. Some people we meet and, and everything is a lesson. So some people, we're just meeting them to show what we do like, what we don't like, what we want more of, what we want less of, and wow, I'm really happy for my sanity. Thank you for showing me how sane I am. Yeah. <laughs> and moving on. Not everybody's a keeper. Not everybody. And that's okay. I used to keep everyone when I was younger. Yeah. Now I'm easier to get rid of people quick. So, like, I think I need to find the gray. Yeah. Quality, <laughs> not quantity. Yeah. 
You want quality people in your life? I, an, another way to look at this is the energy that we're around, the energy that we, the people that we're around, um, they have a certain energy. And we're going to catch that energy if we're around them. So we want to always be around people who are here so we're being pulled up. Right. And then we can move up instead of being, if we're here, hanging around people down here because they're going to pull us down. Right. So we have to, so if you're letting go of people, there's really good reasons for that. Don't feel badly about it. Don't look in your rear view. Just move on. As far as love goes, and believe it or not, they are actually getting to love now. <laughs> we started this like 10 minutes ago. The person uh, who, the spirits that are talking to you, can you visually see? Some of them. What, one of because them, last time I was here, I think we, I met my grandpa. So I was just yeah. curious. Yeah, I do see some of them. As we talk about it, there's a little elderly woman who's very thin and hunched over with grayish the dark grayish hair hmm. so whoever she is and I know she has to be a grandmother or a great grandmother but she's very petite and she's very hunched over and I feel like she's from the old world even the way she's dressed is more old world than huh. it is I feel like she was she may never have been here in America I feel like she may be from so just maybe the, a great grandparent or something. Yeah, just the way she's dressed, her demeanor. I just want to say she's very old world is the term they keep using with her. That's um, cool. But wait, let's get Sorry. back to love. <laughs> it's okay. That's a good question. That's a great question. So as we talk about love, I want you to know there is somebody new, brand new, coming in. Part of this person coming in is you cutting the ties with all that didn't work. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, I, I do the car analogy with this. Sometimes we say, I want a brand new car, but we're not willing to get rid of our old beater, right? right? Like, we're terrified to let go of it. Mm -hmm. And then we start saying, but what if I get another car and it starts doing the same things my last car did? But what if it doesn't? You know? Mm -hmm. So... Let go of all the old beaters. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Sorry to talk about people that way, but it's their analogy, not mine. They just weren't my people, and that's fine. Yeah, and sometimes we just evolve into different friend groups and partner groups. Somebody brand new is coming in. You've never met this person before at all. I can tell you she is very kind and loving. She has a very genuine energy about her. She's grounded. She's very grounded, but she is also very etheric, which is rare, okay? Brand new person. Can you expand on that a little bit? Uh, although she's very down to earth, but she does, I believe she has a very spiritual part to her. Gotcha. That would be. So she's realistic, but she's also very spiritual. Yes. She has a lot of common sense. She has a lot of common sense. Like street smarts? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Not like street. That's she's my never. Part. She, yeah, you, you, <laughs> although street smarts are good, you might not want that to be <laughs> something My you're thing. an expert, because you earn those street yeah, smarts that's true. from the streets. Right. I am going to tell you, she is going to come in, she has the potential to come in within a month. Oh. <laughs> Sounds exciting. <laughs> uh, she is really remarkable <laughs> and very different than anyone that you have been acquainted with in the past. She's, uh, if I had to use, she's just put together well. She's really put together well. And she's, you guys are going to have a very healthy relationship. She's not afraid to call you on stuff. I so need that in a person. Like, that's not this, this. Um, don't be afraid to 
like say what you want in this relationship too. Don't, don't be conform. scared that they're going to just leave out of the blue. Right. And, and don't conform. <clears throat> don't conform to become this person. Be you. Let this person be her. And together you guys will have a great connection and a great relationship. Now. Does she have a child? And the only reason why I ask is because one of them, when our last reading had everything to do with my future person having a child. I feel it doesn't like matter if she doesn't. I'm just curious. I'm getting a very soft yes on this. Mm -hmm. okay. But we'll see. Okay. We'll see. Um, I know it could go either way. It could be an adoption. And sometimes or whatever, people so. have children, not full time, and people have pets as children. Hello, <laughs> right here. <laughs> yes, yep. yes. Um, I am getting that this is going to be a very good connection. It's going to be a very solid connection. And I am seeing July 15th. That's the day after my birthday. Well, happy birthday, oh, sweetie. That'll be a nice birthday treat. I'm seeing July 15th being a day that you really need to be aware of everybody around you and out and about. I feel like you meet her. You might even meet her through a friend. So keep that in mind. Okay. okay. Now we have about two minutes left. Can you believe how quickly this goes? Yeah. And do you have... A two-minute question, a one-minute question, actually. I do. So if you can have them talk about my dad. Uh, oh, gosh, there is not enough. Um, okay, so he is sick, yeah. and he is not doing well. And I believe we touched on this last time. They're saying embrace the moments that you have with him. Be as strong as you possibly can. And don't worry about an end date, worry more about the time that is still here and available, okay? Just make those moments quality moments. Don't worry about how much time you're spending there. Just be having quality time. And they're saying spend a lot of time talking about childhood with him, okay? Just spend a lot of time talking about distant memories. Bring up things from Good ones or bad ones? Good ones. <laughs> okay, good. Talk about things from the distant past, not recent memories. Like and fun childhood memories things, that fun you created. Yeah, fun childhood things, trips, vacations, and such that you guys went on. And then, again, after this, you and I can elaborate on that okay. a little bit more um, and get, get a little bit more information on okay. that. I would like to thank you for joining us for this episode of Create a Life You Love. It has been an honor and a pleasure to be here today with you and with Elisa. Thank you, love. Thank you. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. And until next time, thanks again.